Tonight, we've the star of Men in Back, the brilliant Jill Smith is... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just wipe memory. <laughs> Tonight on the show, the star of Men in Black, the wonderful Will Smith is here. Let's start the show! we've got for you tonight. Uh, I tell you, tonight we really are hoping to cheer up viewers north of the border where the price of alcohol is going to be increased to 50p a unit. I know. 50p a unit. Bad news for you Scottish viewers. You may have to watch the show sober. <laughs> or as BBC Scotland called it, high definition. <laughs> now, what a show we've got for you. We've got one of the biggest movie stars in the world. So I'm independent say, Men in Black. It's the Fresh Prince of Bill Air himself. Will Smith is on the show. Yes, he is. Take that star and it's like a dream. Gary Barlow is here. And musical legend Sir Tom Jones is with us. What a lot. Something for everyone. Oh. So excited to have Will Smith on the show. And Will is going to be talking about his new film, Men in Black 3. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. Now, the plot of Men in Black is that aliens live amongst us. That's a bit far-fetched, to be honest. I mean, how could an alien like this go unnoticed? Well, <laughs> add sunglasses, design a dress and a small wig. Hello. <laughs> uncanny, I know, uncanny. Will's back playing Agent J. As always, he's armed with the latest high-tech weapons. Slightly odd-shaped gun. <laughs> Any ladies recognise that? <laughs> oh, yeah, you do, don't you? <laughs> Spread them. <laughs> is that what you say? I, I don't know. <laughs> Stick them up, is that? I, I don't know. Now, it's interesting, because, uh, of course, Gary Barlow's on X Factor, Tom Jones on The Voice, both judges on talent shows, but what is the point now, ladies and gentlemen? We have reached the pinnacle of talent. Yes, congratulations to Pudsey and Ashley! Oh, who won half a million pounds in Britain's Got Talent? Yes, that's right. Pudsey the dog is now richer than Greece. <laughs> No one's seen Pudsey since Amanda Holden left the after show party. <laughs> so, Pudsey's off to Hollywood. I do hope it works out because, you know, so many young dogs have gone over there and ended up starring in the wrong sort of films. <laughs> Okay. We're, wow. Here for a while. We're okay. fine. <laughs> now, and we're anything you all know each other. Yes. Yes. You That's guys, was it the Millennium concert? Was yeah, yeah. The last time we were together was yeah. at, the, at the Millennium. But we, we worked together classically on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, Mr. Barlow, you mm. know as well, don't you? Yes. Well, we had a. I don't know. We if were drinking and things happened, and we said. <laughs> <laughs> 
us that story. I, I wasn't going to mention that. that one. I was going to mention something else. I don't know if you remember, uh -oh. but I do. Oh, jeez. Does oh. anyone remember the Smash Hits Poll Awards? <laughs> That's In 1993, right. you, I had a, those you, <laughs> you had a dance off with one of our band members, and I must say, he whooped your ass. No, <laughs> no, it's not true. <laughs> it's not true. We've got a picture of uh -oh. you all. Uh, there's, there you all there are. There you go. And there, uh, we've got a, a close up of Will and Jason. There's there Will go. and Jason. Oh, dance off. Looking cool. We were like 12. <laughs> 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 uh, so listen, ladies and gentlemen, let's just recap how awesome this couch is. Yeah. 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 stars. <laughs> Jones, a knight of the realm, a career spanning over half a century, over a hundred million albums sold, wow. now releasing your 38th studio album. Wow. 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 To drink at lunchtime and sit in a nice bungalow in Wales. I do. <laughs> <laughs> what keeps you going? Well, the love of it, you know. I, I just love singing, and, yeah. I'm, mm -hmm. and I'm getting paid for it, which that helps. There's nothing, you know, there's nothing better than that when you do something you love. Yeah, yeah. And and then you you can, it's like a hobby. You turn a hobby into a, into a profession, and it's. Yeah. So it's not like work at all. You know, I was asked the other day, they said, are you working hard? I said, I haven't worked since 1962. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Gary Barlow, well, again, amazing. 13 number one singles, seven number one albums, the highest growing tour of the UK last year. And of course, leader of the greatest boy band of all time. <laughs> Picture. The old picture. Oh. 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 You look good. You look good yeah. in there. Do you think? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Gary. Oh. 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 It's like <laughs> 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 don't make us cry again. Take that or coming back. Have you been of away course. a while? Are you taking time? Is it, is no, it no, we finished our tour last summer. Yeah. And so, no, we, well, we've been away for what? Nearly a year. Nearly a year? Yeah. That's a long time. Not when you're our age, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> it takes that long to heal. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then we come to Mr. Will Smith. <laughs> Not just. Not just the first rap artist to win a Grammy, also twice Oscar nominated. Mm -hmm. You are one of those rare things. You are an incredibly bankable star. It's a phenomenal record. Mm -hmm. I think almost every movie you've made has taken in excess of a hundred million dollars. I think there's only wow. two. It's, it's incredible. Mm -hmm. That's good. Obviously, you'd been, you'd been a very successful music artist, you'd been a successful actor, mm -hmm. but then Independence Day took it all to yeah, another different absolutely. level. Yes, yes, yes. And that was been amazing for you, yes. for your family, your parents. Yes, see, that, was the, that was the first movie, uh, Independence Day, uh, came out and broke all of these box office records, and it was huge, and I remember that Monday morning, uh, I, I was in Los Angeles, and my, my family was in... Philadelphia. So, you know, it was 6 a.m. In, in Philadelphia and 3 a.m. in Los Angeles. And my father calls me, you know, I'm like, hey, hello. And he said, man, you see these numbers? I said, man, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. I didn't, I didn't say anything. He said, man, remember when I told you there's no such thing as luck? I was like, yeah, Dad. Remember when I told you there's no such thing as luck? It's only what you make. Dad, Dad, yes, I remember. Remember when I told you you put your mind to it? It ain't no luck. It's what you create. I said, yeah, Dad, I remember. He said, man, that's bullshit. You're the luckiest motherfucker in my life. <laughs> and a huge movie like that obviously yeah. uh, creates action figures. Yes. And now, uh -oh. well, now some of them, oh, yes. now some of them aren't that great. I doubt okay. even Jeff Goldblum's mother would recognise them from that. <laughs> Jeez. Now, Bill Pullman has a passing resemblance to yes, Bill Pullman. Yes, passing. yes, But I have to say, they saved their best work. Yeah. They oh saved goodness. their best work. Uh -huh. Ladies and gentlemen, uh -huh. it's Will Smith. Whoa. <laughs> wow. 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 That is a shocker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I look like Rambro. <laughs> No, no, it's not, it's, not, it's not like that, you know. Oh, it's not like that. Oh, <laughs> Jeez. But it, but it doesn't look you at, at, at all. At like, all. Yeah. It's just like, They're yeah. like, listen, just make it black. Just make it black. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't black out in the movie, 
You'll know it's him. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the only one. Yeah. Action figure. Uh, no, uh, Mr. Barlow. Oh, oh, no. Mr. Bar oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. He's our old. I know, and you're so cool because you've got a necklace. Oh! 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 He's dancing. Oh, yeah. Uh, now that's funny. That was funny. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, it's not that funny. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no one wants this on the back of their toy. Mm. Not suitable for children under 36 months due to small parts. <laughs> hey, listen, <laughs> let me say one thing. When, when we got those dolls, the first thing we all did was pull the pants <laughs> out. <laughs> and there's, there's no small parts at all. <laughs> <in the boxes. laughs> you, do you mind telling the story? The story about you going to check out your doll. Oh, that, well, that was in the days when we had no control at all over what was yeah, going yeah, on. So we, we didn't get the prototypes or anything. We were just told the dolls are being released on Monday. Mm -hmm. And so um, by Friday, I couldn't wait any longer. And so I put a cap on, glasses, and I went off to Toys R Us in Chester. <laughs> <laughs> and I slid in the shop, and I was cooking down the aisles, Cindy, action man. <laughs> and then I come across the Take That Dolls. I thought this is it. Mark, Howard, Robbie, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I must have sold out. <laughs> so I went up to the till and I really tilted my cap down. <laughs> and I said to the girl, excuse me, uh, have you got the Gary doll? Take, take that Gary doll. And she went, uh, no, 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 we don't have them. You've got to buy Mark, Robbie, Howard, Jason, collect the coupon, send them off, and you get Gary for free. <laughs> <laughs> That's cold. Oh, That's very cold. I flew on the phone to management. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh. Uh, uh, Tom, have you ever been made into a doll of any kind? Um, nothing that I can speak about. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tom. I think my sister has one of those. <laughs> so uh, Will Smith, uh, a Mr. Summer blockbuster. I mean, so many of them. Independence Day, Bad Boys, I'm Legend, Hancock. You own the summer, and now you are back to take the summer with Men in Black 3, sir. Well, Congratulations. Yes, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the summers have missed you. It's been nearly four years. Four years, it? yes. I've, I've been um, uh, working on the, the, the family stuff. We did the Karate Kid, and um, we, uh, my daughter was whipping her hair. And, uh, Back and forth. <laughs> yeah. is, she, now, she, is she doing more music? Because how old is Willow now? Willow is 11. She's 11, and, you know, her big record was whip my hair. And as you see, she's cut her hair off. <laughs> You know, and I was like, wait, honey, no! <laughs> you can't whip your head, baby! <laughs> uh, but, you know, she, she, is, um, uh, she is a handful. She's so absolutely, positively knows what she wants to do, and I have to do what she says. You know, and it, it, it's just, it's beautiful. And then you mentioned your son, Jaden, of course. Jaden, uh, yes. He, well, he's had a number one film himself, uh, Karate yes, Kid. Karate Kid, yeah. yeah. And look at him, so cool. Yeah. He, he shaved it. He has the ears. He has the, the, the Smith ears. Yeah. Because you produced the Karate Kid. Yes, yes. So you're producing a movie that your son is in. Yeah. How much do you pay him? I guess, well, uh, less than I would if he was somebody else's kid. <laughs> no, you know, it's funny, because he, he, um, he is such a hard worker you know I'm, I'm just really proud of how how dedicated he is he um he doesn't perceive it as something he's supposed to have um he doesn't perceive it that it's supposed to be easy um he gets out there and he grinds and you know sometimes has to work twice as hard as other people because he's my son yeah. and now he's had a taste of it though yes is he yes. kind of like is he watching you yeah you know he kind of sits at the dinner table and he's like looking across the table at me you know <laughs> he's looking at me like i'm meat you know, <laughs> and, uh, he just uh, he really he he wants it badly and he wants to prove it to me but he also wants to show me you uh, know and it's just we're, we're working together now actually on a film also so oh, and, uh, Gary because you're one of your daughters she's uh, mm. kind of gone into show business as well mm -hmm. hasn't she 
Not the film industry, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> but if you're looking for any new uh, characters from the film, <laughs> yes, we can discuss but listen, afterwards. We'll, we'll talk later. Craig, we'll get back to <laughs> no, because I saw... I, I'm really rude now. What, that's right. I saw your daughter in, in The Wizard of Oz. That's right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Emily. Emily, yes. that's yeah. right, right, right. Yeah. And is she yeah, doing more? Or you, uh, she... She's nine. She's going to big school in September, so we've made her go back to exams. She's you doing exams. Horrible, horrible <laughs> thing. That's you it's... animal. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we do it these days. <laughs> Willow's whipping her hair back and forth. She's a leopard. <laughs> <laughs> Will Smith's a great dad. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Jaden, I guess mm -hmm. he, he needs to be prepared for, you know, he's about to be crushed now mm -hmm. by Men in Black 3. Yeah, no, I Which is going to be you. I tell him all the time, I tell him all the time, I like, son, if you listen to everything that I say and if you stay focused, I promise you'll be the second biggest movie star in the world. <laughs> <laughs> because Men in Black obviously is opening all over the world. Yeah. It's going to yeah. be a big movie, and it's in 3D. It's in 3D. Yes, it's the the the, uh, the first one of the series that's in 3D. I was uh, very concerned about how my ears would look in 3D. <laughs> Um, but, but I've seen the film. I've seen the film, and it's okay. You know, my, my ears aren't going to be in your popcorn. <laughs> you don't turn your head much. It's like, like, whoa! <laughs> damn, whoa! <laughs> Jeez, you're going to put someone's eye out with that. <laughs> well, I've seen the movie, and it's really funny. It's got lots of action in it. Thank you, thank you. And the big kind of thrust of it is that it's a, a time travel. Yes. Piece. The, the uh, Tommy Lee Jones' character, Agent K, is killed, and my, my character, Agent J, has to time jump to the past to prevent the murder. And uh, oh. Josh Brolin plays young Tommy Lee Jones. So it's back to 1969, and Josh Brolin gives a performance. And uh, I guess the, the greatest tribute is that you just forget. You forget that you think you're watching a young Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah. And uh, some people thought that Tommy looped the voice. Right, but nope, that, that is all Josh Brolin, brilliant actor. And the other thing with time travel movies, often they're either so complicated you can't, yeah, follow, you them, can't follow them, or yeah. they're just full of holes. Yes, but you absolutely. guys really nailed it. Did yeah. that take ages? Yeah, you know, because the, the thing about time travel is you, the, it's not real, right? <laughs> <laughs> So every, everybody... Like, but there are rules. Yeah, there's yeah. rules. Oh, yeah, there are it's rules. Like, it's, yeah. not, it's, it's not real, and there's rules. So you find yourself having really, really dumb arguments. And, you know, <laughs> with, with these, these types of, of movies are, are just like that. Barry Sonnenfeld, the director, his uh, perspective and his twisted humor is the flavor of, of Men in Black. So it's, it's, uh, it's very clever. And it, it's perfect because it, it, it's funny, it's challenging action, but also a bit of a boo-hoo. Oh, yes, uh, yeah, a bit of a boo-hoo. I'm going to boo use that. I yeah. like that. On the poster. <laughs> a bit of a boo-hoo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but listen, uh, we've got a clip. Uh, the movie opens on the 25th of May. Uh, this scene will not make you boo-hoo. <laughs> <Whoa. Wow. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, yeah. 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 You wouldn't want to work in that restaurant. Yeah, no, you definitely wouldn't want to work there. Coming in for lunch shift yeah, of no. <laughs> alien gunk on everything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Because, yeah. <laughs> Will, when you're, like, doing location and stuff uh, in the streets of New York, like, uh, in Men yeah. Black 3 and stuff, people must just be, <gasps> when they see you. Yeah, no, fans can be in interesting, you know. Um, we're, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, he said interesting. Inter yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're in New York, and, you know, there's, there's these four girls, and they're... They're, they're in a car, and I'm, I'm walking down the street, and, they're, you know, they're, they're probably, you know, 24 years old, and it's Friday night, and they're in their car, and the girl, you know, she screams out the window, Oh, shit! Will! <laughs> right? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Slams into the car in front of her and says, Oh! Boom! Will, can you sign this? <laughs> He just straight slammed into the car in front of her, but was getting her autograph. <laughs> and so, Tom, uh, famously over the years, you're, the people who love Tom Jones, they love Tom Jones. Your fans are really passionate about him. Yeah. <laughs> back, back. Uh, <laughs> but there's a bizarre story. Was it? Did one fan sort of uh, approach you in a toilet? Yes. Yeah. I was coming. Yeah, we were coming down the M1 motorway, and I had my band with me, right? And I said, we've got to stop, you know, use the toilet. 
So we all walked in there, and this girl must have seen me. So she ran into the men's toilet. Yeah. And I was actually in the booth, you know what I mean? In the, right? Yes. And all my band are all standing there, you know, in the urinal, yeah. uh, and laughing, because they could see that she was... And she just came right up over top of the door. <laughs> <laughs> and so I started shouting at her, and she said, Oh, you have terrible manners, and I'll never. Have it. I can't even, you know, I can't even get in there now. <laughs> you know, I'm a lot more polite when I'm not pooping. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, I, I obviously we knew you were a massive music star who then turned to acting. Mm -hmm. But the thing I didn't know was there was quite a kind of serious dip in between those two careers. Oh yes. But you'd made yeah. millions. What happened to the money? Man, I spent it all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By the time I was 19, you know, I was I was broke. You know, we put an album out that flopped. And it was like uh uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> and I was very, very uh, nervous and, you know, but you know, like when rich people say they're broke, people like Donald Trump, you say he's broke and that means his budget's down to $3 million a month. Yeah. No, I was poor people broke. <laughs> like, I was riding a, a, a motor scooter because I couldn't afford gas, right? And then that was the, 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 I was like, I have to try to make something happen. And that's when I moved to uh, Los Angeles. And there was a television show in, in, called the Arsenio Hall Show. Oh, yeah. And I would just go and just stand outside the show every day and meet people. But did people and, recognize you? Uh, yeah, but they, they, they um, when, you get, when you get broke, people try less to recognize you. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, ooh, man. You know, so it was probably about a, a year and a half, and, uh, and I went and I just kept going to the Arsenio Hall show, kept going to the show, and I was uh, standing there, and I met a guy named Benny Medina, and Benny Medina is the real-life Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. He actually, he, you know, he moved in yeah, yeah. with his rich relatives and all of that, and he pitched me the idea and that I, I met him just standing outside of, of the show. There's some guy standing outside of your show right now. <laughs> famous telling a story about it one day. And how, Tom, how did you end up in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Uh, they asked me to go on there. Yeah. <laughs> but before, Fair enough. <laughs> before that, they, they were sort of um, uh, talking about me because yes. uh, uh, Carlton, yes. the, the, the character, in the, was, was a Tom Jones fan. You know? yeah. And Will used to make fun of that. You know? I mean, did I you Will? No, no, no. <laughs> You know, no, no, what? It was the character. No. The character was no, 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 but I mean, you know, your character was like, you know, cool yeah, and yeah, slick, yeah. And, and Carlton was trying to do my moves and, yeah, yeah. and all this, that, and the other. And, uh, and then at the end. Well, there you are. So, right. Wow. wow. Both of you unchanged. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, the, at, at the end of the show, the last episode of, yeah. of the series, and uh, so Carlton's looking through. Will's records, and that he has a record of mine there. Yeah. Oh. So that was it. That was a payoff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's incredible, given you have this phenomenal film career, mm -hmm. that Fresh Prince doesn't go away. And listen, that every country in the world, that is the thing that I am most known for. No matter how big the movies get, it's uh, the, the <laughs> Fresh Prince everywhere. And does that bug you, or is it... L listen, man, as long as they scream and will, I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny, because Alfonso Ribeiro, who plays Carlton, mm -hmm. we were, when we first started the show, we were trying to come up with names for the characters, and we're going through and we're talking about it, and Alfonso pulled me aside. He said, man, let me tell you something. He said, whatever your character's name is, People are going to call you that for the rest of your life. He said, make your character's name Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and he was so right. And, you know, when we go out together, people are like, Will, Will, Carlton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Carlton's better than Alfonso. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and, and famously, famously, you performed the, the title yes, rap, the absolutely. title rap, which I happen to know, uh -oh. everyone knows. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. 
everyone knows. Including me. Oh! oh. oh. So, OK. Let me, let me oh, hand this you, over. Oh, jeez. OK. You, this is quite heavy. It's quite heavy. Oh, goodness. OK, here you, you go, Gary. All right. No, no. Oh, goodness. OK. Oh, goodness. No. Okay. Right. So the audience... You've probably... OK. You've probably seen some musicians before, but get ready, my friend. <laughs> Okay, hit the track. Right. <coughs> okay. Story of a night of my life just been turned upside down. Like you take a minute, just sit right there. I tell you how it became the Prince of a Town called Bel Air. That's the opener. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Me. <laughs> I don't make fun. It's taken me all week. I remember it. But no, but you wow. really remember it. You really didn't hesitate for a second. You really. Yeah, no, it, it is so funny that that many people recognize that <laughs> theme song, you know, and it's, there's, there's something about TV mm -hmm. that's different than, than movies or, or music. There's something about television that it's like, I mean, you're in your underwear at the house, and, you know, <laughs> and it's, you don't get dressed up to go, and it's like <laughs> people come into your house, and, and television really yeah. attaches you to people in a way that is extremely powerful and, uh, it's humbling. Thank you. Yeah, yeah no, it's amazing. Sure. Yeah. Uh, now, listen, it's an exciting time here because it's Jubilee year. Yes. And Gary Barra, where would we be without you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, because. <laughs> It's a big year, you know, mm. and the Queen very hard to buy for. Yeah. Um, so Gary's got her a lovely concert, mm -hmm. mm. um, which is on the fourth of June. The fourth of June. That's the wow. Monday, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yes. Yep. And uh, I believe there's a certain Sir Tom Jones Absolutely. on the bill. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yes. 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 Right. That's right, sir. I, I, I'm a, I'm, my invitation probably at the house. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I've been out the country, you know. So when I get home, my invitation will probably be there. What you think? Yeah. <laughs> Well, it should be. It should be, yeah. yeah right? well, okay. Don't you join in. Oh. <laughs> when you said that Sir Tom was on the bill, yep. did her eyes light up? Absolutely. I mean, the Queen, <laughs> the, no, the Queen is absolutely delighted with the whole lineup. Um, only a couple of weeks ago, I, I got the job of uh, presenting the whole plan of the concert to her, and I'd learned everything about this gig. I mean, I know every act that's on that. I even know every band member in Madness. I've got the whole <laughs> thing. There's not a question she can throw at me where I'm going to falter. And I went, Your Majesty, this is what the concert's going to look like. It's going to be incredible. And this is where it's going to be. You know, we're, we're in front of the palace. And she looked at it and she went, um, so all that equipment, how long is it going to take to dismantle it? <laughs> So, uh, at this point, I'm guessing, and I say, ooh, about six or seven hours. <laughs> so she went, so the concert finishes at half ten at night, which means you'll be doing that all night while my family live at the front of the park. <laughs> a little bead of sweat. <laughs> so I said, anyway, mo moving on, Your Majesty. <laughs> this, this is the royal box, this is where you'll be sitting. And she said, how am I going to get there? <laughs> 
<laughs> Something else I don't know the answer to. <laughs> the next time you're, you're in, the, in that situation, a thing that works for me, like when you get caught like that, you just say, oh, uh, what you calling them gonna take care of that? <laughs> I'll remember. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, as well, have you have you met royalty? Uh, yes, I, I, we we had a um, a royal premiere, and uh, Prince Charles was at the, the premiere. Oh, hey. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we did a we did a royal premiere of Ali, and it was really cool. I'm sitting next to Prince Charles, and you can't relax. We're sitting there. I'm trying <laughs> pretending like I'm watching a movie, and so a love scene comes up, and it's my you know, and Ali, my wife and I have have a love scene. And Prince Charles does this, he's sitting there, he's watching the movie, and someone taps his shoulder before the love scene comes up, and he does like this. And he looks down the whole time, he looks down, he looks down, looks down. And I'm thinking, yo, man, this is my best work. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you know? And he sat down, he had his head the whole time, the whole time, and the love scene was over, and somebody tapped him, and he looked back up. And I was like, oh, man, he, done, he, he messed the movie up for himself. No. <laughs> No, but I thought that was very cool. That's incredible. I've yeah. never heard that. Yep. There'll be no point in the concert where he needs to be tapped on the shoulder. <laughs> it's not all the time. It's not all the time. She'll be no tapping me. And of course, Gary, you're not just organising the concert. Yourself and Andrew Lloyd Webber yep. uh, have composed this song, Sing. Yeah, me and Andrew, we wrote this song in, <clears throat> in January. And um, the Queen, the one, one of the things she's most proud of in her 60-year reign is the Commonwealth. The fact that she's been uh, in charge of it and she's kept everybody safe for this amount of time. It's the one thing she really is very proud of. And, um, and I thought, wouldn't it be amazing if rather than just setting up in London and recording this track, let's go around the world and record it. Let's go to all these cities where the Queen matters so much and add musicians piece by piece. Wow. And so we've made a documentary, an hour documentary of the making of this song. And it's actually really interesting. And we go from everywhere to Jamaica, to Australia, to Kenya, to the Solomon Islands. And our last stop is back in the UK with the military wives who sing uh, the vocals, the main vocals on this track. Oh, well, listen, we've got a little yeah, taste cool. of the music video and it involves some of the, the filming around, around mm -hmm. the Commonwealth. Okay. It's a really rousing sort of anthem. It's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, that's a big boo-hoo. Yeah. That's, yeah, boo that's Prince Harry dancing there. Wow. We got Prince Harry on the track. We met up with him in Jamaica, and I took a tambourine along with me, <laughs> and I said, so would you just hit this for us? And we were recording it, bang, spun it into the track. <laughs> <laughs> and did Prince Harry, when you met him, did he strike you as very tall? Everyone's tall compared to me. <laughs> well, I don't think you're this small. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He is quite tall. No, that's yeah, the yeah, Lord yeah. of the Rings version. He's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a big fella, though. He is. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, listen, the single uh, Sing is uh, part of the album uh, Gary Barlow and the Commonwealth Band Sing, and that uh, is out on the 28th of May. Uh -huh. And good luck with the night. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Thank you. And that's Thank you. beautiful, that song. I'll Thank take, you I'll take that, okay. though. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's music time, and I mentioned, of course, this is your 38th studio album, wow. Tom. Mm -hmm. uh, here it is. Fantastic. Wow. It's out on the 21st of May, and Hit or Miss that you're performing is out now. Is yes. That, that's right. And mm -hmm. you're working with the, the cool kids. Uh, the producer of this is uh, Kings of Leon producer. Yeah, yeah. Ethan Jones, his name is. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he did my last two... Uh, last two albums and it's great working with him because it you start from scratch you go in the not like the old days when everything was mapped out mm -hmm. you know now you can get in there kick things around yeah, and yeah. and it, it's, it's great working with him all right well thank you very much because you're going to be uh, singing live oh, oh, all right there you go <laughs> you're never going to be broke again <laughs> you're never making out the stage again <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, if you want to go over and, yeah. and, and get ready to do the business. Okay. Uh, Love it, it. There he goes. Very good. Calm down. Uh, in a moment, we'll have this week's stories in the red chair, but first, performing his new single, Hit or Miss, it is Sir Tom Jones!
beautiful. <laughs> they loved it. <laughs> Will's humming it. No, no, yeah, you know, I can't wait. Yeah. I can't wait. I mean, all night. <laughs> right. Uh, this we're very out of time, but before we go, just time for a story to in the red chair. So, uh, who's up first? Who's up first? Hello, nice lady. Hello. Hi, what's your name? Yasmin. 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 Ya Yasmin. Hello, Will. Ya Hi. Hey, Yas. What's up, baby? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, uh, off you go with your story. Okay, so basically, I was supposed to be meeting my friend for lunch at Oxford Street, and we decided that we'd meet in front of Topshop, and then we'd go for lunch. Lovely, I planned, yeah. So, basically, I was, I was a bit early, so I was oh, yes, like, okay, yes. I'll have a browse in Topshop, mm, so yes, I had yes. a bit of a browse, mm -hmm. and I saw this girl who looked exactly like my mate, like, same jacket, same hair, same everything, so I was like, right, okay, I'm going to play a prank on her. So I went up behind her, grabbed her bag, and goes, Give me your bag, bitch. Give me your bag. <laughs> she turns around. I was laughing, like, and then she was like, "Get off me! Get off me! Who's this person? Please help me! Help me!" And then, because I was near the entrance, yeah, yeah, yeah. two security guards start coming. Oh my through. god! <laughs> and they're like, um, what's going on? And they're like, "Please come with us." I had to sit in a room and watch back CCTV footage of me growing <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go back to. Yeah. One more, one more, no, okay, one more, one more, one more. Did okay. you just step on my action figure? No, no, no. <laughs> no, that's not you. Okay. That's not you. Oh, all right. Which, where are you? And by the way, earlier you called it a doll, I think. It's not a doll, it's an action figure. <laughs> it's, a difference. it's a difference. I'll just put the action figures carefully yes. back here. <laughs> I've lost you. Oh no, yeah, here you are. Yeah, there, there you go. are. He's playing. <laughs> Look, he's got grippable hands. Uh, okay, he could do that. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> What's your name? Kate. Kate. And uh, where do you live, Kate? Um, London. London. What do you do, Kate? I'm a student. I'm studying English. You're studying English? Yes. To teach it to somebody? No, just, just. At university. Oh, yes. <laughs> to speak well, it. To that, speak it. Yeah. She's it, no, it sounds like she's got a plan. Yeah. <laughs> she's got a life mapped out. <laughs> <laughs> it's not free anymore, Will. <laughs> Someone's paying for this. <laughs> uh, sorry, my dear. Uh, off you go with your story. Now, this is a story all about how my life got flipped turned upside down. Mm. <laughs> and I'd like to take a minute. Just, just sit right there to tell you how I became Don't a you prince. dare. <laughs> Go on, baby. <laughs> Finish your story, baby. Finish your story. The playground was where I spent most of my days. Yes. <laughs> Chilling out, maxing, yes. relaxing, all cool, and shooting some b-ball outside of the school. Yes. Yes. <laughs> when a couple of guys, they this were This is a bit of a boo-hoo. <laughs> they started making trouble in my neighborhood. Yes. What happened, and I got baby? One little thing. My mom got scared. What'd she, she say? <laughs> Huge thanks to my guest tonight, Sir Tom Jones! Yeah. Gary Barlow! Yeah. And Will Smith! Yeah. Join me next week with music from the Sister Sisters, actress Kathy Burke, national treasures to David Attenborough, and Hollywood star Cameron Diaz. I'll see you then. Good night, everybody. Bye bye!